Hi guys, it's Brit Renee and welcome to Brit Renee's Way. And if this is your first time on my channel, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Brit Renee's Way and I hope you enjoy. So y'all, if you have anything that you would like to say about this video here or if you have any video suggestion ideas, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section below. And also, if this is your first time on my channel and you like what you see and you would like to see more of my content, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and do not forget to hit that bell notification button as well to be notified when I post new content. And lastly, if you would like to follow me on any other social media platforms besides YouTube, they will be listed down below in the description box. Okay, so y'all, for today's video, I'm super excited for it because I'm showing you all my wash day routine. I wanna show you guys how to take care of my hair and how I have been taking care of my hair since my salon horror story video. If y'all haven't seen that video that I posted a couple of years ago, I'll leave that link down below. It's basically about how I got my hair straightened and it got ruined at the salon. So yeah, if you want to check that out, hit the description box up and click on that link. But yeah, so yeah. So in this video, I'll basically show you all my typical wash day routine. It's nothing major, probably pretty similar to a lot of other natural hair people that you've seen on YouTube. I just wanted to show y'all what I do typically, nothing major. Okay, so I'm gonna go off first and show y'all what I'm going to be using and then I'll talk about my hair and yeah, I'll be using this suave coconut conditioner as part of my pre-poo slash detangling process. Something really cheap um, to use as well. <laughs> Get from the Dollar General. I ain't scared to talk about it. Anyway, and as far as my shampoo, I'm going at it again with the Organics and Oregon Oregon Oil Shampoo, like I mentioned in my Natural Hair Care on a Budget video. If you have not seen that video, I will leave a link down below in the description box. So hit that up if you want some more tips on how to, like, you know, take care of your hair on a budget. Another thing that I like to incorporate in my wash day routine that isn't so super typical. Some of you all may have already heard of it before, but I do a bentonite clay mask treatment on my hair. It is very beneficial. It is helpful with the curls and, like, just, like, detoxifying your hair. I'm not going to go too much into detail about that, but, yeah, if you want to go ahead and look that up and see if you want to try for your hair as well. Some people like it, some people don't. I personally love it. So I do that in my, um hair routine as well. I'm not going to go in about the ingredients and everything, but this is just something I like to do for my hair. So as for deep conditioner, I'm using the African Pride Moisture Miracle Moroccan Clay and Shea Butter Detox and Soften Heat Activated Mask for natural coils and curls. That is my deep conditioner for today. Very affordable as well. It's under six, under six bucks, so you can get that from like your local like Food Lion or Dollar Store whatever you, the case may be. Only those are the things that I'm going to be using today for my hair hair routine. Um, as far as my hair, as you can see, it's in puff balls. Uh, I've been wearing my hair in puff balls for the past few days. So, you know my hair is like dying to be like taken out and taken care of. Like it is very dry and my scalp is itching. So, it's time to wash my head. And not to mention I have my edges gelled down. So, that's also gel. So, I need to go ahead and wash all that out and get my hair nice and clean. So, I can start off with a new week. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take my hair out of the puff balls, y'all. I just, <laughs> whoo, oh goodness, y'all, taking them things out of my head. Oh, my, y'all, my scalp is breathing. Okay, so now that I have my hair out, what I would do next is I would go in with the conditioner and, like, go through my hair in sections and detangle each section of my hair. So I'm going to speed this clip up. And y'all just watch as I put the conditioner in my hair. Lord, y'all. So while I was doing this, I realized that I did not have enough conditioner to go through my hair like I usually do. So I just decided to mix it with some water. But it's okay because I was still able to detangle my hair like I wanted to. And in this next clip, y'all see that I'm going through each individual curl to make sure that they all get detangled and properly moisturized. Okay, y'all. So, as y'all see, my hair is in four sections. Um, I just went in with the suave conditioner and a good amount of water. As y'all saw from the clip, I worked through each strand trying to coat each section with a good amount of, like, conditioner and water. And one thing about natural hair, y'all, that y'all need to know is that it's easier to work in sections than trying to do it all in one. Because when you're trying to do it all in one, you're just like kind of rushing through and you're pulling through. And then a lot of times you'll add more tangles and that is going to defeat the purpose of what you're trying to do, which is detangling. So I recommend highly to work in sections. 
work in sections <laughs> you'll thank me later so basically i'll let this sit in my hair for like 15 to 30 minutes and then i'll just start the washing process so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let this sit and i'll be back at y'all within the next 15 minutes okay so after i put this in my hair and everything like that typically i typically i'll let it sit in from between 15 to 30 minutes but today i'm just to 15 so i'll be back up with y'all and i'll get back with y'all in 15 minutes y'all so at this point in the video i have shampooed my hair and rinsed out all the conditioner and water now i'm going in with the bentonite clay mask and making sure that it's evenly distributed through my hair as you can see in this clip i'm going through each individual curl to make sure that it is covered with the product rule of thumb y'all when y'all do the bentonite clay mask please make sure that your hair is really really wet because this product does not distribute easily when your hair is dry so please make sure that your hair is extremely wet when doing this as i can see i have the aztec clay all in my hair i saw from the clip that i posted in the video of me applying it to my hair y'all noticed that i was trying to like get through every strand so that the product is evenly distributed through my hair so basically i'll just take this and i'll um divide my hair in four sections put a couple of like um grocery bags over my head or like a cap and then I'll let it sit in my hair for like 30 minutes and wash it out. So I'm about to do that and then I'll check in with y'all on the next step. Okay y'all, so I'm in the shower right now. I washed out my um clay mask or whatever. And now I'm just basically making sure my hair is extra moist for my last step before I style my hair. And before I style my hair y'all, of course, as we all know, as curly girls, you have to deep condition. Deep condition, deep condition. So I have my deep conditioner here, the one I mentioned earlier, the African Pride one. Um, y'all, this not smells so good. I got this from my local Food Lion. Y'all, it smells so good. I usually do it in the shower. That's why I'm in the shower right now. So it says that it's heat activated. So yeah, so the moist heat from the shower actually helps it to penetrate my hair shaft better and to have my curls popping. Okay, so I'm about to put this on my hair and I'll be right back with y'all. <laughs> okay, so as y'all can see, I have the conditioner distributed evenly through my hair um as y'all saw from the clip i made sure that i still even though i was like putting the conditioner through my hair pretty rapidly and like not really in an organized manner like i usually do with my products i still went through section by section by like, flipping through my hair and you know adding the products through different sections so now I'm basically going to take my shower let the moist heat get to it so it can activate the conditioner and i will check in when i am done so y'all go ahead and sit this one out okay y'all so as y'all can see i am here with my bonnet on now um I, after i washed my hair out and everything i went in with my shea butter and my olive oil to moisturize my hair and then i went after that and did a flat twist out with um flexi rods at the end um, I went ahead and put my bonnet on because I really didn't like try to do it very neat So I didn't really want to show y'all how messy my hair looked But I was just going to tell y'all about it instead of showing y'all how my hair looked Because they didn't look that great So I'm sorry if you wanted to see it but it just didn't look that cute So I decided not to put it put that in the video But anyways, so yeah So this is just a quick little video I wanted to show you all how my typical wash day routine goes Hope y'all enjoyed it If you did give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below Hit up my social media um, outlets and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.